All right, so this is a predecessor to the last video I made about the RTX A2000. This is a low profile bracket because somebody said they didn't know where to get one. And I thought to myself, I wonder if I could 3D print one. So with that, I made a one-to-one -one copy of this minus these two little out pieces here and began printing test samples in a PLA to make sure the holes lined up correctly. And then once I got that, made a couple more iterations and then I printed one in PETG, I believe. I think it's this one. It didn't turn out any better. And then I went to carbon fiber nylon to see if it was more uh, strength and it just, it just didn't print very well. So with that, I uh, put it in a computer. This is a small form factor Dell Optiplex. I have a OS on it and was uh, mining on this A2000. And here I was doing a heat test and it was fine at like 55C, 60C, but once it got past 65, you can actually see that it deformed just a little bit right here on the one side. So PLA, it's GTT, uh, is like 65C or something. So I needed something that had more heat resistance. So I picked up some ASA. I've never printed with this material before. This is sort of like an ABS. And uh, I printed the first test sample. And we're gonna see how well it works. So here it is. I'm gonna make one with an open design and then also with a grid pattern, just like the OEM one. Now it doesn't connect on the back here because it's really difficult to 3D print a bracket that also goes in the back with the mini display port. It locks in, it's exactly the OEM. So I'm gonna put a grid pattern in, so I'm probably gonna have two of these. And they are slightly fragile they bend a little bit. We're gonna have to test this ASA filament to see what the temperature, if it can go past 65C. So let's do that now. All right, so I have it crypto mining. RTX E2000, 228 mega hash, 67C. The reason I got it so hot is because I have the fan at 40%. It's running really efficiently on uh, Caspa right now. And uh, so I've been having have it at this temperature for around like two hours now. You definitely feel the heat coming out of it. And the chassis itself is warm. But as far as any, any warpage, I mean, it's always gonna be a little bit flexible. And the reason is that if we take a look at the original bracket. You see that indentation? I can't recreate this nicely through 3D printing. So the one example was this guy. It leaves a uh, not so nice finish to the part that isn't touching bed of the 3D printer. So it doesn't turn out as nice. But I think this filament, this, uh, it's from Polymaker. Actually, I have it right here. I bought it on Amazon. Somebody asked what the uh, glass transition temperature is, and they said 97.8 C, which is 208 degrees Fahrenheit, which is really high. For like a normal PLA, what I was printing in before, it's anywhere from 50 to 60, and mine was slowly starting to warp at 65 C. Your graphics card should not get this hot. They can, I believe they can go up to 100 C, that's what Nvidia says, but an A2000, I'm not quite sure. All the other cards are like 100 C, and then it starts thermal throttling. Not only that, the fan should kick on well before then. I think this filament is definitely working though. I'm gonna pull it out here, and let's turn it off. Now what you could do is stick a little something in there, and also well as you could add washers to the bottom sides of these two screws and then it would sit because if you tighten these too far what it's going to do is it's going to flex the bracket up because it's essentially being pinched in the middle causing it to go up if anyone has any ideas on how i can mitigate that other than doing the goofy like not nice finish on the back like these these screws right on the side here you would take these out and then put them right back in because you want the this connects the shroud to the PCB here and so you put those right back in and then just use these two screws to attach the bracket All right, so I made a grid pattern and we are Absolutely cooking 69 with 80 degrees on the memory at the same fan speed. So it It's hotter now that could have got a little warmer in here since I kind of doubt it But I think it's the restricted airflow and uh before pressing on it a little bit, had a little bit of sponge, but it came right back into place and it still feels 
exactly the same, which is what we wanted. I'm gonna turn it off and see if there is just a little bit. I wanna see how much it flexes. Oh my goodness, it's so hot. So here it is, still hot. It's, it's like, it's the same. There's no difference. I don't think there's any difference. This is relatively flimsy still. It's plastic. It's also like, a, it's thin. It's, it's more than a millimeter, but when it gets up to the top here, it's like less than a millimeter. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do, cause that is actually a temperature difference right there of quite a few degrees after, that was even less time with this one. This one has more airflow. The air can get out easier. And that was my idea that this one might have better temps than the Ridge. I think we're done. I'm happy with this. So links down in the description, if it'll be up by now. If you have any recommendations, please leave them in the comment section. I will take a look at them. And I didn't even think this could be done, but I think with the right filament, it can be. Thank you this guy for leaving the comments. I think this will work.